The following video demonstrates the technique of subacromial injection. Uh, before I show it, I'd like to make a few uh, important points regarding this. It's a simple and easy technique uh, and can be done safely and easily in most patients. The subacromial bursa is a sac-like structure that's centered on the anterolateral corner of the acromion and is about the size of the palm of your hand. It's, struck, it's therefore situated a little bit more anteriorly and laterally than you might think. However, the best way of approaching it is by posterior injection. So you bring your needle in from the back and bring it right forward to the front. In the disease state, it's filled with thick inflammatory tissue. And therefore, to make sure that the injection is effective and spreads throughout, you need a high volume, at least 10 mils. And it's convenient to combine the local anaesthetic with the, an ampule of steroid in the same syringe. Uh, I use lignocaine because I want to see a quick response. Um, but it is also appropriate to use a more long-acting anaesthetic like Marcaine. The acromion is a flat structure, but it does have a little curve and it is concave downwards slightly. It is also sloped upwards from back to front. And this means that you need to make sure that you bring your needle in a long way inferiorly so you can then angle the needle upwards as it comes forward. If you don't do this, you won't get under the acromion and won't be able to perform the injection. The best technique is to palpate the posterior aspect of the acromion and coming from a few centimetres below this, angle the needle up. You should then aim to hit the tip of the needle on the bone of the posterior aspect of the acromion. Once you've done this, you then know where you are. You should then back the needle out slightly and aim to walk the tip downwards to slide it underneath the back of the acromion. Once you've done this, you then push the needle right in as far as it goes, bury the needle right up to the hilt. Now at this point, it's very critical to start injecting, but only do so when you can feel the fluid going in easily. You should use a 21 gauge needle as this provides minimum resistance and you can gauge the correct feel. The fluid should flow in almost without resistance at all. If you want to practice this, you can try injecting 10 mils of saline into an orange. It should feel exactly like that sensation going in very easily. If you try the same on an apple, you'll feel when it is incorrect, when, it is too, uh, when the resistance is too great and you know you're in the wrong spot. Once you can feel that loss of resistance, you should then inject a small volume, about 2 mils or so, uh, and then back the needle out. Um, back it right out until only about a centimetre of the needle is still in the skin. You then aim to do, repeat the process, just slide the needle out somewhat and then slide it in forward and aim to inject in a different spot. Keep doing this multiple times and this will mean that even if one of your injections is not quite in the right spot, at least the others will, will be and will provide good relief. So here is a patient's right shoulder looking from the side. You can see I have a 21 gauge needle. I'm using an alco wipe just to sterilise the skin. I'll palpate the posterior aspect of the acromion with my thumb there, and I'll aim to bring the needle in from well below it. There I am hitting the bone of the posterior acromion and now sliding forward underneath the acromion. So long as I've done that, I know I'm in the right space. As you can see, when I started injecting, the resistance was too great, but now when I've got it into a better position, I feel the fluid going in easily. As you can see, there's multiple passes and multiple little small injections of, of fluid. You might think this would be painful with the patient awake, but it is not so long as you don't take the needle out completely and, and do a new puncture of the skin. So as you can see, it's multiple injections, but each time feeling very minimal resistance. This next video shows the same ejection shot from above. So again, the patient's right shoulder. So I'll palpate the posterior electrical corner of the acromion, bring the needle in, again hitting bone as you can see there, slide it underneath and forward right to the hilt of the needle. Again, move it around until you feel virtually no resistance of the injection and just a couple of mils each time. So uh, multiple passes. Uh, I use just one ampule of steroid. You could use more, uh, but I think one ampule is usually enough. I find patients tolerate this injection uh, very well and are usually very happy with the results.